how to add an eSIM to your iPhone 14 series. Now first let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, tap on settings. In settings, we go down and tap on cellular. In here, we go down and tap on add eSIM. Next, wait for the screen to load up. And in here, you can either choose transfer from nearby iPhone, if you are transfer, transferring your eSIM from an older iPhone, or if you have a QR code, tap on use QR code. So here I have an, a QR code from my provider, so I'm going to get the camera and scan my QR code like this. So scan the QR code that you have. Now, if you don't have the QR code, you can also manually add in the details. So at the bottom here, there is a button. You can tap on it to uh, manually add in the eSIM details. And after that, it says an eSIM is, is ready to be activated on this iPhone. Now tap on activate eSIM, and then tap on continued, and it will activate the eSIM on the iPhone 14 series. So if you are in the US, uh, you have no physical SIM available for you to use, so you need to activate your eSIM. You can get your eSIM information from your network carrier. Okay, now I say continued, so I'm going to tap on continued. And here it says cellular plan labels. Choose labels for each of your cellular plans. So I've got here a label for your new Optus plan, primary, and then cellular with a phone number. I'm going to tap on continued. And here's a default line. Your default line is used to call or send messages to people who are not in your contacts. So I'm going to choose the primary is the default line and tap on continued. And in here, I've got two different numbers, so I can choose which one is the primary, which one is uh, the, the one that used for cellular. So again, you can tap back here to give it a name. You can rename it, so you can choose whether it's business, cellular, or personal, or secondary. So you can choose it. Uh, I can choose this one, say, um, this one here would be uh, secondary, and this one here would be primary, so uh, personal, or with this not primary, so you can choose your custom number, uh, custom label, you can even give it a custom label. I'm going to give it primary here. So pr primary and then secondary, and then tap on continued. So you can give your, um, you can give your eSIM a name as well. And here default line will be my primary, and then tap on continued, and then you can double check here, and then tap on continued. And here's cellular data, which one will be used for cellular data, and do we allow cellular data switching? If yes, you can turn on the toggle button, and tap on done, and tap on done. So basically, uh, at that step, it asks you which one, which SIM card you want to be able to use to pick up the phone call, and which SIM card you want to use to use for mobile data. And here, when you have a dual SIM uh, on your device, you can see my signal now has a dual SIM signal. Uh, at the top here so, and you can see in here I've got the primary and the secondary uh, SIM card and that's it so that is the dual SIM uh, on your uh, iPhone uh, 14 series and how you can add in eSIM and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos